In this question, it says, how do molar enthalpy, reaction enthalpy, and kinetic energy connect together? It says, use equations and sentences that state the equation in your answer. So in the last, um, in the question one, we talked about what was happening with chemical potential energy and kinetic energy, and we use a specific, a calorimeter to measure it. The calorimeter MC delta T allows us to calculate Q. Well, this is equal to the change in enthalpy of a reaction. And that allows us to get the joules, kilojoules, or megajoules. And so that's our reaction enthalpy. This is our reaction enthalpy. So reaction enthalpy can be determined by um, calorimetry. And we previously had talked about how the change in the temperature reflects the kinetic energy. And that kinetic energy, this change in kinetic energy, is related to the enthalpy change in the reaction. So the reaction enthalpy is the same as the energy measured in the calorimeter, as long as our calorimeter isn't losing too much energy to the environment. So, so long as it's fairly well insulated, ideally isolated, then this works. So reaction enthalpy though, the MC delta T that equals Q, is related to the chemical, the molar enthalpy, because the number of moles of a chemical that react times the molar enthalpy, so now this is molar enthalpy, and this is mole or chemical amount. When I multiply those two things, I get the chemical or the enthalpy change that causes the calorimeter to change. So the react molar enthalpy of reaction is equal to MC delta T divided by the number of moles of chemicals that reacted. So this is the calorimeter, this is the reaction. If I divide the reaction enthalpy by the number of moles that reacted, then I can calculate the molar enthalpy. Um, so the kinetic energy that we're measuring change allows us to calculate the enthalpy that's changed, which is equal to the number of moles times the molar enthalpy. And so that's how they all connect together.